a year or two ago now, I went through a season of real spiritual discouragement. Some, some would probably call it depression. And I, I wanted to share a little bit about that experience and tell you some of the things that were helpful, some of the, the ways that God ministered to me during that season. And, and they may be an encouragement to you. And it, it's an encouragement to me just to give, give a testimony of, of God's grace in my life. There were a lot of reasons for it. Um, one was just a, a grief or problem that a family member was going through that brought me a lot of sadness. I also had some very significant challenges. My, my day job, I'm the president of Wheaton College. It's a very challenging job with a lot of uh, pressures and difficulties, so that, that contributed to it. Um, there were also some, some ministry conflicts, some broken relationships, some people that were attacking me for some things. There were just a lot of things that were very discouraging. That was coming out in a, a lot of different ways. There were times when it was really difficult to get to sleep at night or when it was really difficult to get up and get going in the morning. Mornings when I was just overwhelmed with sadness the whole time I was preparing for the day. I lost quite a bit of weight and just had a lot of difficulty in a, a lot of different areas. And even thoughts and doubts about did God really love me and if he did, um, why were some of these uh, troubles continuing? Uh, were my prayers really going to be answered? And um, just a very great weight of personal trouble for, a, for an extended period of months. And I'm so grateful to the Lord for the ways that He ministered to me. It's, it's not an experience I, I want to relive but it's also a time, I think, with a lot of spiritual growth in my life. And uh, part of it was just the ministry of, of close friends. Um, I didn't want to give people a false impression at all, so if they asked me how I was doing, I told them I wasn't, I wasn't doing well. And, and that really mobilized people for prayer. And to have friends from college just contact me really out of the blue and say that they were praying for me every day. Um, to have my parents lay their hands on me and pray for God's blessing and healing and protection. And that was just part of, of God's ministry to my soul. And then, then just realizing that um, God would be faithful to his promise that even when, when I could just groan about my circumstances and couldn't even really express them in a very articulate prayer, that the Holy Spirit would be taking those groanings and expressing them as prayer before God's throne of grace. Public worship was significant for me as well. There were times when I, I didn't feel particularly like going to church or being in public worship, and yet that experience was ministering to me, helping me, particularly receiving the sacrament of the Lord's Supper, um, I think was spiritually nourishing, even in ways I didn't understand. And maybe above all things, um, the, the ministry of God's Word in my life and how precious it was to be lying in bed at night, um, just really troubled, and yet having my wife Lisa read psalms over me that would calm my spirit, help me sometimes fall asleep and get some rest. What a great way to fall asleep, just hearing God's Word and, and His promises. I, I love the words of, of Charles Spurgeon, the great London preacher who, who struggled throughout his life in ministry with very serious depression, saying that really any form of spiritual discouragement is cured when we believe the promises of God's Word. And I, I believe that's true, and that's, that's been true in my life, and I, I know it'll be true the next time I go through a season of discouragement. And I know it'll be true for you, um, that God will be present in your life, minister to you through prayer, through the presence of God's people and through the ministry of his word.